Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lloyd. Um, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. Today, I want to share tips or step-by-step -step guide on how to um, get an internship as we headed into the new year in 2026. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to land a DevOps internship in 2026. Even if you are just starting out, um, we will cover what skills you need, um, where to find opportunities, and how to stand out with no experience, and how to build projects that companies actually care about. So grab a notebook and let's go. Let's jump right in. So first of all, before applying everywhere blindly, you you need to know what DevOps intents typically work on. That's the first step. So examples you can have like writing automation scripts, deploying applications using CI CD, working with Linux and cloud environments. Also monitoring logs and infrastructure, supporting engineering teams, um, ETC. No one expects you to be a DevOps expert. I'm talking from an experience as a senior DevOps engineer. They just want proof that you can learn, solve problems, and work with basic tools. The next step in securing an internship in 2026 20, is basically, I'm going to show you roadmaps. So skills to learn to be higher ready in 2026. The first one is you need to have basic Linux essentials. So you need to understand what commands are, permissions, SSH, network basics. You also need to have get and get out basic knowledge. And that's how branching strategy works, pull requests and collaboration. The next step is CI CD tools, GitHub Actions or Jenkins. You can also learn about um, GitLab. But if you are starting out, I think Jenkins is the perfect tool that you need to use because it's like a father of all CI CD tools. And therefore, you probably need to start out with Jenkins, then you can learn GitHub Actions and then GitLab and any other CI CD tools that um, you grow at. I would advise that you start from Jenkins. The next is cloud basics. You don't need to know all the cloud platforms. You probably need to learn one, just one cloud um, platform. Um, I started out with AWS. And so depending on your choice, you can leverage AWS, Azure, start with free tiers or maybe student credits. You can have like student credits, you can have what we call um, free tiers. Once you register your account, I think AWS has changed their um, tier policy now. So now they give you like um, credits, $200 credits that you can use as well. And then also the student credits that I mentioned earlier. You also need to understand containers. So you, are not, you need to understand um, container concepts and then running simple apps in a container. Um, the last one you need to consider is monitoring basics. So how to read logs, how to um, read metrics using tools like Prometheus and then Grafana. These are like the common um, community-based ones that you can start up with. There's also ELK and um, other uh, monitoring tools. Datadog is also um, a monitoring tool. So um, optional, but it's also good is to understand Kubernetes fundamentals. So once you understand Kubernetes fundamentals, um, that also helps to be able to um, scale up. The next thing is um, basically um, all, all the things that I mentioned you probably need to focus on doing real tax with these skills. You don't have, you don't need certifications. I promise you, you don't need certifications. 
but um, as you go, as you develop, as you um, grow in your career, probably they can help if you have no um, work history. The next thing is instead of writing, instead of writing learning devils in your CV, show it. Yeah. Don't make this mistake. Don't write learning devils as part of your skill set in your CV. What you can do is show it in your CV that I have done A, B, and C, and these are the tools involved, and this is the resource, and this is the impact. And I also advise that you contribute to community development, um, work on open source projects that is actually impacting communities. This will go a long way to help you. So some key examples that you can look at, um, probably do small projects, because examples like um, deploy a Node.js app using Docker container. Set up a CI CD pipeline that runs tests and auto um, deploys. Um, you can also use Terraform to provision an EC2 instance and serve a website. Add monitoring with Grafana and then Prometheus. Put everything on GitHub and write a readme explaining what you did when you are you were working on this project. This project became your portfolio, and that is what gets you interviews. The next thing you need to do in order to get an internship in 2026 is build a professional brand in tech. That is very key. Professional brand could include creating a clean LinkedIn profile. Um, one day I'll create a video on how to create a professional LinkedIn profile that will get you um, jobs. And then also share weekly progress posts. So basically, if you are working on the project that you are working on, you need to probably try and share weekly projects, updates, what you've done today and what you'll be doing next. These are like step-by-step -step, um, walkthrough of your projects. And this is what actually catch a recruiter's eyes when it comes to looking for people to join their companies or looking for people to hire. Also write tutorials on mediums and then also hash note. This is very important, technical writing. Whatever you are doing, find right course. In the real world, every infrastructure that you set up, you need to write technical documentation on those, that infrastructure. So it is important that you start now and then become a master of it. Also, ensure to add your GitHub and portfolio link everywhere on your social part, uh, profiles. It is very important. Your social profile, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, always ensure to add your GitHub and portfolio link or in all these social platforms. And then also finally, show passion publicly. You you will look more interesting than 90% of applicants. Yeah. So the next step or the next um, thing to do if you want to get hired or in 2026 is where to find DevOps internships. Now you've done all the hard work. The next thing is where to find internships. On LinkedIn jobs, you can find internship jobs. I will always say that message some of the recruiters directly. Don't just apply, message them, send them DM, explaining your intentions to join the company and work on as an intern and grow professionally. So basically you can also find um, internship roles on angel lists, angel lists, company career pages. So some companies also you can go to company career pages, company like GitHub, um, company like um, Netflix, Google, you can go AWS, you can go to their career pages and then try and apply for anything. If you see the recruiters, you can send them personal email and that also works like magic. So don't wait for job postings, basically email companies directly. Yeah, I will say 
one of the tricks is emailing company what directory. So a typical example of an email draft could be I'm a beginner DevOps engineer. Here's a small project I've built. I did love to learn and contribute to make or do you take intense? So basically that could be like your rapport. <laughs> yeah. That message pair with a portfolio win. So you probably once you put this together, you add your portfolio links and the projects that you've worked on. Also, the next step is how to apply and stand out. So here's your simple formula that you can use. Number one is a resume. So highlight um, skills and then your DevOps project. So in your resume, every project that you work on, you have to highlight the skills you have acquired and the projects that you worked on and the step-by-step -step guide, every single thing that every tool that you use in that project. The next thing is, is ensure to keep your resume on one page. Don't go and write plenty stuff on your CV. Recruiters don't have time to read all this stuff. Cover message, show excitement to learn, keep it short and personal, portfolio, your GitHub pin, repos, and then also the documentation, read me documentations. And also finally, ensure that you have what interview prep. If you get the opportunity to interview by going through this step-by-step -step guide, ensure that you prepare yourself for the interview. So you can do things like um, refreshing your mind on the basic Linux um, commands, containers, and CI/CD pipeline questions. And also be honest when you don't know an answer because nobody expects you to be an expert. Like I said earlier, be honest when you don't know the answer. Just go straight to the point and let the interviewer come up with their own assertion of you right after the interview. Don't lie on your interview um, process. Ensure that you say the right things at the right time. So the reason why I'm saying it, this is that you have to be honest because they know you are a beginner. They are looking for potential and not perfection in that regard. So these are the steps to getting high to ensure that, let me highlight the things that I mentioned. Okay, you ensure that you learn the fundamentals and start what, working on real world projects. There are a lot of online, you can go on link, uh, LinkedIn, you can go on. Um, medium, you can go and hash new people have actually published projects that they work on. You can mimic these projects to gain real world experience. Build your portfolio and then apply for, if you can, you can apply for mentorships and also apply for internships aggressively. Don't think about the money, start with the experience. Once you get the experience, the money will start what coming. Nobody. Um, when you interview with an organization and you have that much experience, you know, the amount that you mentioned is what they are going to pay because you have the experience. But for now, don't think about the money. Just focus on the experience that you are going to get. And then finally, ensure that you prepare before you go for any interview. So if breaking into DevOps is your goal in 2020, remember this, don't try to learn everything. Um, learn enough to build and show your work. That's very important. If you find yourself, if you find this helpful, um, please hit the like button and subscribe for more beginner friendly DevOps contents. Drop a comment if you want me to review your DevOps roadmap or make a video on portfolio projects. That is will help you to skill um, your to acquire skill in, in DevOps in 2026 and then get an internship job. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.